Welcome back, my friends, to another exciting, action-packed adventure in operations on the Western Kansas Rail's N-Scale layout, the WKR. Another modeling resource to check out is the Main Line, the monthly newsletter of the Western Kansas Division, NMRA. Each month, a new, free PDF copy is posted on Facebook. Look for it on the Western Kansas Division and Mid-Continent Region pages, as well as several modeling group pages. You simply need Adobe Acrobat, a free software download on your device. The main line is first uploaded to Dropbox, so just click on the Dropbox link to get your free copy. The Real Deal section tracks some interesting highlights of the local BNSF action in Western Kansas. The WKR Update section tracks the progress on the traveling layout, and it takes a more in-depth look at track work, scenery, scratch building structures, weathering, modeling ideas, tips, and a lot more. The Date Book section lists train shows in within driving distance of Western Kansas. When you get a chance, check out the main line. This is the last movement for Session 2. There are nine industries and two trains, so this is the 18th and last move of Session 2. As you may recall, Agridine is a beef feed producer using tank cars of molasses to mix with other vitamins and minerals to blend in with cattle feed. So we joined the crew of Train 2 as they head west to Agridine to pick up three empty tank cars. In previous moves, Train 1 dropped off three loaded tank cars, moving the empties to the end of the siding. Now, Train 2 will need to do a runaround movement to get the cars. The crew is tired but anxious to get back to the yard and then home. Let's join the action.
Here's a sneak peek of what's coming up in future editions of the main line. We got some of the new Red Caboose center beam flat cars, and you could always put the traditional lumber loads on them, but we we're looking for something a little different. Happened to come across a picture of somebody who had done a similar bulkhead flat with aluminum ingot loads. So we thought we could do this, something similar. So we went out and got some KNS tubing. We did some research on the internet to find out about the average size of the aluminum ingots. And on the first car, we made some decisions that didn't quite pan out. <clears throat> We're using uh, uh, fishing weights to add weight to the car, as you can see here. And they are hidden by the load. But we were using toothpicks, to, uh, trying to slice them up thin enough to do the uh, spacing for the, the supports. And as it turned out, they're way too big and too clunky. It would be like using railroad ties as your separators. So this piece right here is actually 20 thousandths sheet styrene that I was able to come up with a paint for me that looks a lot like uh, the lumber that could be used. So coming up, we're going to redo this on the other three cars using the, the same weights to give the car better track. But we're going to use the 20,000 styrene and you can see how much closer together they will be. There should actually be five levels of ingots and instead here I've got four because the wood's way too big. So I'm going to use this uh, sheet styrene to try to bring them in closer and be a lot more accurate. And then we're going to use chart tape for the uh, strapping that will keep them all down. So that's coming up. We'll give you the results uh, coming up in the future issue of the main line. See you then.